Now that we've created our Display Network campaign and we've let it run for a while, we've accumulated some data that can help us manage it better. So to get this data, you can do it for all campaigns or you can do it from any specific campaign. I'll just do it from all campaigns. Go to the Networks tab. Okay, here you can see the different networks and the ones we're interested in here are Display Network and I have two there, Automatic Placements with uh, eight and a half million impressions, managed placements with just 30,000. So we're going to start with automatic. Uh, when you start, you'll have nothing in managed placements if you've done the keyword targeting strategy. So let's take a look here. So what we have here is data by domain. And you can see here's the domain, the campaign it's in, the ad group, and then the standard statistics we're all used to, including cost per conversion. So here this is already sorted by cost per conversion descending. So let's say here that my cost per conversion my, that I'm willing to pay is $10 or less. Anything more than that I'm losing money. So one thing I could do is here I have conversions but they're too expensive. So one thing I could obviously do is delete these domains, but I don't really want to do that because they're giving me conversions. Maybe I can get them a little bit cheaper, and they're not hugely expensive. They're just a little bit more than $10. So what I could do there is take those and add them all to managed, because when they're in automatic, I can't affect the bids for each one of these. But for automatic, for managed, I can change the bids and lower them all. So now I go here to manage placement and bid. Now first I want to just double check what I'm bidding. Um, well, I think it might show me. Let's take a look. Yeah, the default bids are 15 cents. So dietitian.com is coming in at 13.80. Well, that's um, what 38% too much. So if I drop 15 by 38%, um, let's just say. Uh, 11 and we'll copy that all the way down but um, you can see patient.co.uk is only a little bit more so let's drop that down just to 13 we'll drop that one down to 13 as well these are 12 and we'll leave the others and then we save it and I've moved those from automatic into managed and now I can change their bits so let's see if I had something that was just egregious. So let's let's now go down here to cost per conversion and find all the zeros. So here's one. It's really not enough impressions yet, but let's say I had, well, here's one with 10 clicks and zero conversions. Let's pretend that was like 100 clicks. <laughs> and I wanted to um, exclude this one. Here's how you do it. You click on it and simply exclude placement and I can exclude for an individual ad group or for the entire campaign and I'll just do it for the whole campaign. You may want to do it for the ad group if you notice that the same domain is showing up for different ad groups and some it's doing better than others. Let me show you one other thing you can do with, with this which is so here we have uh, let's just sort by clicks so I can get a good number. So about.com, so what if um, about.com, it's coming in at 308, that's excellent, but I want to improve that. I can, and here there's about.com for these three different ad groups. Those are my, my top placements. So let's just take a look at this one for the ad group gout diet. I can click that and then see URL list for that particular one. And now it's showing me, well, I'd have to uh, scroll over to see it all, these are individual pages and it's showing me the stats for individual pages so I can see here's my cost per conversion and here's one that's slightly high. Um, none of them are terrible but here's a bunch where look 11 clicks, 7,000 impressions and zero conversions. Suppose I had a lot more data, right? I could go in and manage individual pages. So let's say I wanted to put these into managed I could do individual pages. And let's say I wanted to bid higher on those because those are coming in so low. I could go up to 25 here and 
save that and then those go into managed as well and I could also uh, put some in and lower them so this one's at uh, ten dollars and two cents so let's lower that to 14 just so it brings us make sure you uncheck the things you've already checked so now that's going to be at 14 cents so I can be profitable there and I can also exclude if there's any here that I don't want to use so that is the basic procedure for moving from automatic to managed.